right. It's been a little while since I made a video. Uh, I've been working on things, but I just haven't filmed it. And I, cause I, I got kind of annoyed with it. Um, yeah, but hopefully I can start making more videos again, and then it just becomes more of a, more of a habit and a routine than anything. But anyway, today the plan is to make a box out of wood. So a wooden box. Um, I have these pieces here. Uh, we'll see how far we get with them. I, I drafted some plans, but those are going to kind of go out the window. Uh, yeah. I was working on joints before, but I think I'm going to take a step back and start using nails. Um, yeah, and just see how that goes. So anyway, um, yeah, follow along. Let me know. Hopefully it works out okay. I, I think it'll be okay. Probably. I mean, it, it can't go wrong. It's just wood. Alright, so the first step is to just mark everything out um, on here. So how long I'm going to cut it. The plan is to have 8 inch long box with 7 inches in the middle. Uh, this is a half inch board. And then you'll have a quarter inch as the base. And then a quarter inch as a sliding lid. It's going to be a pencil box. So I'm going to measure that out. And then, uh, yeah, and then cut them. And we'll go from there. So now that I got this line drawn for the inch piece, what I'm going to do is make a knife wall. And what that does is it helps um, guide the saw. So I'm just going to do it here. I'm just using a box cutter. Well, one day I'll get a marking gauge or a marking gauge or a marking knife. And then this should go all the way around. It's okay. So I'm going to cut as close as I can to that knife wall, but just on the outside of it. So I'll just do that for the other pieces. Alright, so we got the four pieces. I don't know when I became so shit at math and 18 and a half meant I could get two 8 inch pieces and two 2 inch pieces, because that equals 20, which, you know, is one and a half inches longer. So anyway, I have the four pieces here. And the next task is to make all these edges flat um, so that everything like joins up nicely together because you can kind of see how it's a little loose there. I don't know if it's following, but yeah, so the idea is to make it flat. I didn't buy a good hand plane because I wasn't sure how, how much it actually get into this. And the shitty hand plane is makes the job a lot more difficult. Alright, so I'm going to do that for all eight pieces, or eight sides rather. Yeah, and then uh, I'll come back. Alright, so I got the pieces all trimmed up and made them the same length. Uh, yeah, it took a little while because I had to sharpen my tools. Uh, yeah. Okay, so the next thing to do is to use this piece here to create the base. Alright, so now that all the pieces are cut, um, yeah, so all the pieces are cut, I'll have to clean this out, but that's fine. Right now we're focusing on one thing at a time, so it's plain like that, like that. That. Okay, and then this piece will go here. Now what's left to do is to put a groove in here so that the lid can slide in and out. Okay, so I've gone and marked the lines here and I put the knife wall in there. I've also marked a quarter inch down uh, so that I know where to stop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this chisel to give me a little bit of a guide. So I'm just going to go right to that knife wall and that'll help direct the saw. Now be a little careful because... Alright, so I think this will work. Let's find out. Alright, I'm going to go struggle with this. You don't have to watch this. And then I'll, I'll be back. 
want to show you how I think this should go. This should go a lot smoother. <sighs> Let's see. Because... Yeah, okay, so let me... Tomorrow I'm gonna have to sharpen all of these tools, but here we are. Yeah. So that should just come out pretty easy. Yeah, I'm just going around, go around. I have no idea how old these chisels are, but they've been well used by my dad, and he gave them to me, and I've tried my best to get them working, but... I was just packing up um, and cleaning up for the night, and then I realized I made an idiotic error. See how I... Okay, can you see? See how I ran this groove all the way to the end? I thought it was a good idea until I realized that when I put it up like this with the back piece now there's a gaping hole alright so the solution that I thought I had yesterday is not going to work because uh, so what I did is because, well, I need to leave this quarter inch piece here at the end because you can see I glued in a piece there to make that happen. So what I did yesterday, which I thought was really clever, is I used my square as a fence and I just clamped it in and then I used the, and I just sawed it down, right, which I thought was, oh yeah, that's brilliant, but it's not going to work here. So what I'm thinking is that I will use the chisel. What that means is I'm just going to have to work slowly at removing uh, material. And then, yeah. And eventually we'll get down a quarter inch. And we'll be good to go. So that's what I'll do. And then I'll sort of plane the, the bottom there with the quarter inch chisel. So I can't think of any other way to do it. So I'm going to continue doing this. And then when I get down to the planing bit, I'll uh, I'll bring you back. So I've been at this for uh, almost an hour, and I'm and I'm getting nowhere quick. So this is as far as I've gotten. I've tried all sorts of various things, but I think this is just going to have to be a slow process. Oh, it's day three, I think. So I got this done yesterday. I don't know if it's done well. I'll look at it again. Uh, yeah, and then I have to fix up this piece here so that it's all flush and trimmed nicely because it's about a quarter inch too long. Um, yeah. Did you see that? Yeah. It's about a quarter inch too long. And then, uh, yeah, and then I gotta figure out how I'm gonna make this, the lid portion but that will come after all of this is put together. So that's the plan for today, day three. All right, so I was able to just pare it down a little bit. Now let's see if this planing doesn't work. Uh, I 
really don't understand why this doesn't work so properly. Sometimes it bites too hard, and sometimes it won't bite at all. And now it's going this way. Oh, no, man. They're going against the grain, with the grain. Who am I? I don't know. I'm trying to take off too much, not enough. I don't know. I just don't know. The plan now is to use these here brass nails to put this box together. I figure I'll put a little glue and then nail everything together. And after everything is nailed together, then I'll fix it on the base. So I'll flatten out the bottom and then I'll fix it to the base. So let's see if we can't do that. Now, yeah. all right. Um, so let's see how this plays out. One thing about woodworking is that, like, it really, it forces me to be patient and mindful. To be honest, it's not a bad thing. Okay. All right. So now, oh shoot. Okay. Should have cleaned up inside before I. Anyway, I could do that afterwards. So now, I'm really hoping that this piece here will just slide in nicely. Of course it won't. Why would it do that? And then, um, yeah. Okay, well that's not, that's okay, because I can just use a plane to get it down to size, but I have to cut it to size. So I'm going to say about there. It's one issue that I didn't anticipate. I don't know if it's going to focus in here. Um, is that these aren't lined up. Oh, no. These aren't lined up. So now I'm using this chisel to pare that down. It took some doing, but... We got the box. Here it is. There are a few things like this nail that I didn't drive in properly. Some of this is not level and like the glue up was pretty bad. But overall, I think this is great. Um, yeah, and I'm really looking forward to making more of these. And you know, learning from my mistakes on this one and then making making a whole bunch. So the plan is to, to get proficient at making boxes like this. Uh, yeah. So I'm really excited for it. For, yeah, I'm really excited about it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, I hope you're making stuff too. Alright, I guess that's it for me.